From the cobbles to the ice rink, Coronation Street sweetheart Samir Gadi and rugby legend Gareth Thomas join this year's celebrity lineup on Dancing on Ice. We all met yeah, first of all, was, and we had to go like the width of the ice, and everybody was really shaky. But I think the great thing about the training is that from where we were to where we are now, and how much work everyone's put in, the difference is phenomenal. So, you know, everyone, I think because kind of work gets out how hard someone else is training and it motivates everyone to train harder. Yeah. Um, I, th I think everyone's been really committed and everyone is, I think, up to a standard of, a, of making a good competition because everyone's pretty good at what they do. I fell on my head and ended up in A&E with a concussion. So that was my worst one. And I've just kind of got bruises all over the place, really. But it kind of shows that you're trying, I think. So yeah. we're all all right with falling. Now. I think you, you, you have to fall. Shane Ward, who shot to stardom when he won X Factor in 2005, is swapping his role in West End musical Rock of Ages for a spot on the ice. I was asked the night that I performed Rock of Ages would I like to take part and I was, I was scared of the ice. I couldn't imagine myself actually skating around, so, um, but I finally agreed to it and um, I'm here now, so it's, it's amazing how quickly my decision was made. You know? I love the challenge, so that's why I agreed to it. The only way is Essex star Lauren Goodger is no stranger to fake tan and sparkles. And former EastEnders actor Matt Lipinskis says he's also embracing the glitz and glamour which comes with the show. Well, the fake tan's there, okay, see you, Lauren. Um, and yeah, I mean, the sequences are all out there, do you know what I mean? It's, I, I think the more glitz and the more pink, the more colourful, the better. Because the first day I walked into wardrobe was absolutely amazing because it was just like yellows and greens and like bright and vibrant colours. It was like, it was in the middle of like, yeah, G-A-Y or something for me, but yeah. yeah I think it's completely different to oh, what yeah. we're used to, like well, for me anyway. Um, it's a, you know, it feels like a full-time job now, but I'm doing it the rest of my life. I keep forgetting that it's not, this is yeah. just the show, but it's fun and it's difficult, but I'm enjoying it. Dancing on Ice kicks off on ITV1 at 6.15 this Sunday.